Thank you for your support and for watching Aviv Tarot. This is a general pick a card reading. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Not everything will apply. My readings are meant to be constructive and not destructive. I give readings to empower you. I will be honest in what I see and will not give you false hopes or empty promises in order to keep you happy. I will be compassionate and sensitive to your feelings and will not judge or condemn. Energies are ever-changing. You are still the master of your own destiny. Hi everyone, thank you for watching Aviv Tarot and today we are going to do another pick a card reading and today's pick a card reading we are going to see if your decision is um, like if you're on the right path, um, if you've made the right decision. Um, so this is more for people who are having trouble deciding or whether their decision is right or wrong. And so we have four different piles, one, two, three, four. And the first card, um, you will see if that is the pile for you. We will do um, a little bit of a confirmation um, card uh, to see if that's the pile. Um, so you can see if that resonate with you or not. And then the second and the third card and the angel and search card will tell you if you've um, made the right decision, if you're on the right path. Okay. So we have four different piles. If you need more time, you can pause the video. Timestamps are going to be in the description box below, as well as in the message box. We're going to start with pile number one. All right, so for pile number one, um, we'll check this out later. Let's see if you, the, the, what is your decision? Um, what is it about, okay, where you are currently? So this is kind of like a confirmation um, to see where you are. So we have five of wands. Five of wands means um, currently maybe whatever your this question or this decision that's in your mind right now that you're trying to decide, um, it's uh, very competitive, okay? It's full of competition. So um, the situation you are in right now, um, it's very competitive, very, very, um, a lot of... Um, competitors, maybe jealousy going on. Um, but the thing is like everyone is, it, there's no like tricky things. It's not like seven of swords where people are doing things behind one another's back, but this is more like an equal, um, pretty fair type of competition, but it is very fierce. The competition is fierce. So you, your decision, maybe you're trying to think like, maybe you're, you're trying right now where you are right now maybe you're thinking um should i actually um you know enter into this competition and and compete with with all these other people or should i just maybe stay where i am right now so this could relate to like you know work um love life investment whatever it is like whatever currently this decision that you're trying to decide is a very competitive type of um uh it's very competitive in nature okay so that is that um there may be some quarrels going on some people might be very argumentative um <clears throat> combative as well so it's not an easy fight okay so it's not an easy challenge it's very very challenging um it, it it is a quite big of an obstacle that you have to overcome okay so if that resonated okay then let's take a look at if your decision is on the right path oh wow look at that all right so this is the chariot and then we have the two of swords as a supporting card um so chariot i would say yes you are on the right path um you are making the right decision you should go for it even though um this whatever thing that you're thinking about um maybe competition is fierce maybe there's a lot of challenges but i think you will be able to overcome it as long as you have the willpower okay because the chariot is about the willpower and i think it's actually a big breakthrough for you you're getting out of your comfort zone you are doing 
doing um, what it is necessary to become a better you. Um, so it's definitely a good choice that you're trying to make. Um, yeah, it's a good thing for you. Two of Swords is about indecision. So you're still like kind of a little bit wishy-washy. Um, Chariot, which is kind of interesting because it does have like this two um, diverse energy pulling at um, different direction, which is the same thing as kind of the same as the Two of Swords, like this um, equally... Um, equal equally difficult situation or decision that you're trying to make and so you're kind of like at a stalemate because you can't decide what to do um so i would say this is kind of interesting because the two of swords is um usually if it's the right away card it has the um the moon up, up above and the chariot is uh, a cancerian card so it is talking about intu intuition okay intuition so listen to your heart and follow your heart your heart will lead you to the right place and so if you feel like um this is the right thing to do i think this is the right path for you even though it might seem like uh it's going to be super challenging. Don't think about the end result. Enjoy the process, I would say, okay? The process is more important. And also, I think you're going to gain a lot of wisdom on the way, okay? Um, and you'll learn what you like and don't like. And I think you have the willpower to actually go towards the final goal that you wanted to do um, to achieve. So let's take a look at this. We have the situation will improve. Look at that. I told you there's a breakthrough. So yes, um, um, you're making the right decision and the situation will improve once you start moving forward towards whatever you're trying to achieve, um, trying to do. Uh, you will see a big change. Five of Wands is about, it, it, the number five is about change. So wherever you, you're actually on, like in the middle of something. So once you move past it, uh, things will start to get better. So for pile number one, your decision, it, you, you are making the right decision. You're going to see a breakthrough. The situation will improve. Follow your heart. Um, use your willpower. Be courageous. Um, so that's that. If you have anything you would like to share with me, you can leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to my channel and during my video and turn on that notification bell if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. All right, so if you chose pile number two, we'll take a look at the angel answers last. Um, let's take a look at if you resonate with this card first um where you are currently at so we have the chariot interesting um pile number one has the chariot but in the decision sick part uh so right now your decision is prob uh or your wh whatever you're going through right now your current situation you are uh, trying to decide if you should go forward um i think you want to have a breakthrough right so um, I think you're trying to see which way you want it to go because the chariot is always there is this two diverse um, diverging energy pulling you and you have to use your willpower to um, pull them into one direction. So uh, <laughs> for pile number two, wh whatever you're uh, experiencing right now, I think things are going at really fast Speed. things are moving forward for you so you're not like stalling or anything um i think things are whether you make this this decision or not things are going to move forward regardless um with the chariot card i feel like so um i feel maybe right now you're watching this maybe your decision you're just trying to see if you should go along with the with the forward movement or you wanted to choose a different path okay um 
So this could relate to really anything in life, like whether it's work, investment, money, um, relationship, whatever it is. So I think um, there is something going on right now. Things are moving forward for you regardless. Things are probably going quite well for you too. And um, But it's just that maybe deep down inside, there's something that maybe you don't feel is right or there's something else that you would you want to do more or... Um, you know, that's why you're in this decision uh, mode where, where, you know, you're trying to decide what, what you should do. Um, so I think you, you're looking for maybe a breakthrough of, of some kind, right? So if this resonates, okay, let's take a look at if your decision is the right decision or not, maybe you, you want to choose a different decision, uh, choo choose a different path. So let's take a look at it. We have the manifestation card, which is the princess of discs. This is um, the page of pentacles. Clarified by, wow, princess of swords. You have two page cards. Uh, cl so page uh, clarified by page of swords. So curiosity. So yeah, there's lots of new things coming in for you. Um, even this is like two pages going on and with the chariot is like this two diverse energy, which is, is super interesting. Um, the swords and the pentacle suit, the air and the earth suit, they're not super compatible with each other. Okay. They're not like the most compatible. They're very, they're quite different actually. Um, so you do have two, um, diversing energy pulling you and um but there are with the two pages i definitely feel like there is new opportunities new things coming in for you new offers are you on the right path i would say it's yes okay you are right on the right path whatever your decision that you're thinking about right now um you you are making the right decision okay you uh in fact, there's the manifestation card. You are manifesting whatever you want to manifest. And then over here with the princess of swords is about communication. It's about news. It's about, um, information coming in. So I feel like once you make the decision, once you progress with, uh, you know, start moving forward, uh, with your decision, you will get more information coming your way. You will, uh, understand more how you should proceed. Like I said, I feel like you're not at it like a stalemate or, or stal stalling or anything. Things are actually moving forward for you, but you're, um, you're just wondering if you're maybe on the right path or something like that, or is there anything that you need to do differently or something? But, um, I, I don't actually think that you're not on the right path, whatever your decision you're trying to make, it is the right decision and more information is going to come in for you. Um, once you start moving forward, uh, with your decision that is. All right, so let's take a look at look at this. Yes, see, I I was like, yeah, I don't feel like you are not on the right path. I feel like you are on the right path. Everything's move, moving forward smoothly for you. You're gonna get more information. You're having things manifesting as well. You're having it's a pretty promising future too. So things are going well for you. You are making the right decision. I think you should just go for it, right? So pile number two, um, I hope this helped. If you have anything you would like to share with me, you can leave it in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to my channel under my video and turn on that notification bell if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye. All right, so for pile number three, let's take a look at if... Um, what you're currently experiencing use this as a confirmation that this is this is the pile for you we have the eight of cups interesting so um right now you're trying to decide if you want to leave certain things behind you want to move forward with something but you're not sure maybe if this is the right decision to do you want to give up something you want to let go of something and you're just not sure if that is the right thing right 
um, and you want maybe you're trying to go and pursue your happiness, pursue uh, another goal. Um, I think you've already maybe organized everything. Uh, if it's relationship, then I think you're ready to move forward, um, leave the leave the person behind, or break up with this person, or something. Okay, uh, or or giving them an ultimatum or something like that. If it's work, maybe you're ready to go on and find a new job that you would like a little bit more, fulfill you a little bit more. If it's investment, you're ready to cut the loss. Or if you're making money, then uh, you're ready to sell it and, and, and just grab all the profit that you could make off of this one and move forward with another one. So this is talking about your decision um, is probably based about like, uh, is, it's, it's about whether you should leave certain situation, right? Or let go of someone or, or um, moving forward with something. So let's take a, if that resonated, let's take a look at uh, your card. If you're making the right decision, we have the wow, the nine of pentacles and the tree of life. All right. Tree of life is an additional card in this particular deck. And so this is an additional card, which is all about life right tree of life that's everything that we experience and this is to clarify the nine of pentacles which i feel like the tree of life is like almost like the magician card where you receive everything it's like wisdom and i mean with the good comes the bad as well but with the bad it comes the good so everything is well balanced um this is about um vitality right tree of life so yes you are on the right decision um if that is if you're thinking about leaving something behind right and moving forward to pursue your happiness your dream and because nine of pentacles is about um being fully independent and having the abundance right um and then clarified by the tree of life which is abundance as well i feel like this is kind of about the same thing and nine of pentacles um if you are especially if you're talking about like investment or money or work or something like that it's definitely a really good decision to go forward with whatever decision that you're thinking about right now um i think you'll get that fulfillment you will feel happy you will feel Get the abundance that you're looking for and um it is a really good path for you tree of life this is your life purpose maybe too to do whatever you need to do um to pursue whatever you need to pursue so yes you are you're making the right decision um or whatever your decision you're thinking about right now um this is confirmation that yes you should move forward with that decision so now trust oh wow look at that um yeah trust yourself trust that you um you got it you have it you know what you're doing okay so and trust that the universe has your back too um trust i i with the trust i really feel like it's trusting yourself because the nine of pentacles is really about being um independent you you got everything you have it you are enough you are perfect you you've got everything that you needed okay so just trust yourself and also trust the universe that the that it has your back and then the tree of life this is your life purpose you're meant to do this you're meant to um let go of certain things learn the lesson of something and and move forward and really seek the things that will make you a better you and make you happy all right so this is pile number three um you are doing the right thing and i hope this helped and if you have anything you would like to share with me you can leave it in the comment section below i do want to mention if your question is about should i stay then no this is not the right this is like i said um this is about leaving something behind letting go of something and so if that is the case then this is the right decision but if you're like oh should i stay with this person even though this person is like bad for you then um you have to flip everything around okay so that means uh what what i said over here is that hey you gotta leave this person and and then you'll find the abundance right and and if you're scared to leave this person or some or leave the work leave the or, or um 
not you know not give up certain things um you got to trust that something better is going to come along when you let go of something you actually will leave room op- you'll leave uh, space open for better things to come and fill in that space so if you're talking about staying then that's not a good decision but if your if your decision is about should i should you move forward l- let go of something leave something behind then yes that's a that's the right thing to do all right so i hope that clarified it a little bit and if you have anything you would like to share with me you can leave it in the comment section below and don't forget to like share or subscribe to my channel and join my video and turn on that notification bell if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye all right so file number four we'll take a look at this last and then let's take a look at if you resonate with this card or not this is about your current situation that you're in or maybe what your dis and also what your decision is about um possibly nine of cups interesting nine of cups is a very good card i think you're very satisfied with right now where you are right now i think things are going pretty well for you things are pretty satisfying you are feeling pretty happy um just you're feeling very fulfilled as well emotionally stable emotionally happy so maybe um if you really think about this this is kind of interesting i think things are going too well for you things are going too smooth for you maybe to the point that you're getting a little bored right maybe you're like i need some more adventure going on in my life i i i just i i don't know if i like this like things are too stable for you right now maybe that is that too like just very satisfying so you're seeking a little bit more adventure excitement of some sort right and so maybe your decision is about seeking excitement or break out of the status quo right now um so but but not that your current situation is bad at all you're actually going you know i feel like life is treating you pretty well right now okay but it just starts to get a little boring for you or you're starting to get a little bored so you really want to move forward go and do something um make your life more exciting type of thing so if your decision is about that right um then let's take a look at these two cards and see if whatever you're thinking about are you making the right decision um if this if whatever i just said didn't resonate then maybe you want to check out the other piles and see if it resonate with your situation or your decision that you're trying to make a little more all right so let's take a look at this cards to see what where you are oh this is so interesting we have the 16 see how the roman um number is like x five x v i and temperance x i v so the four and the six is like reversed anyways um the temperance is clarifying the tower card so for you are you right on the right decision well with the tower <laughs> okay i would say whatever you're because you know we said right now life is pretty good for you you're at a pretty nice stable place um so i would say getting the tower card is would uh, suggest to me that whatever you're thinking about right now is probably not a very good idea first of all you're shaking up some things that you don't want to shake up okay temperance is about balance um it's about um patience it's about timing so maybe just timing wise things are should just go with the flow a little bit enjoy your um calm peace um satisfying life it might be a little boring right now but i don't know if you want to shake up the things so much that it's gonna get really chaotic the tower card is about destruction it's about shaking things up if you really are going to um 
if you really hate your life right now okay um because you feel like it's so boring then okay fine the tower could be like yeah you're gonna do a major uh, makeover of your life or whatever thing that you're thinking about doing it's a it's gonna be a humongous 180 degree change um everything is gonna be different if you're gonna do that so whatever your decision you're thinking about i would say this is a no um only because it's gonna shake up a lot of things um and most likely unwanted things um but if you are really looking for adventure and you are really like bored out of your mind right now with your life then you know getting the tower card might be a really good thing maybe <laughs> it's matching what you're looking for you want excitement right so if you want excitement we're gonna give you excitement this is gonna just blow you away this is like storm and and hurricane i almost feel like this is like the hurricane card right so with the temperance clarifying the tower i almost feel like you're you're swinging from one extreme to the other extreme um instead of finding a, a balance a, a middle point between the two extremes because the the nine of cups is probably just really peaceful really calm very zen like and then the tower card is on the other extreme of the spectrum right so the temperance card maybe you want to find a middle ground but i feel like whatever you're thinking about doing is going to shake up a lot of things so if that is what you're looking for then by all means go ahead but if you but if you're not you just want some excitement but you don't really want to also face uh things that maybe you might you're trying to get away from or you things that you don't want to be reminded of or something like that then i would say whatever you're thinking about is probably not a good idea okay <laughs> So let's take a look at the angel answers. Yeah, listen to your intuition. Um, so really just listen to your, you know, your intuition. Um, if this is really what you wanted to do or not, why do you want to do it? Maybe ask yourself, why do you want to do what you wanted to do? Um, because it's going to actually really shake up a lot of things for you once you, um, if you start going forward with the decision that you're thinking about doing. Um, if you don't mind shaking up a lot of things and i almost feel like maybe you'll start to piss a lot of people off or um maybe your life is going to be very very different and that kind of thing you don't mind the storms the destruction because after that is the rebuild right it's the star so um so things are gonna get better again but um i feel like right now with the nine of cups it's it's about wish fulfillment where you are right now is 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 you've i feel like you've already got everything so um like i said earlier if you really feel like your life is kind of too stable too boring for you and you want to shake things up then by all means but if you're just but you just want to do things for the sake of doing it then i would say don't do it right but listen to your intuition and the card is just that if you're gonna go ahead with your decision and you're gonna shake up a lot of things so with the tower card showing up i would say don't do it but it really is up to you right you are your own master so that's what i see for pile number four and if you have anything you will look you would like to share with me you can leave it in the comment section below and don't forget to like share or subscribe to my channel enjoy my video and turn on that notification bell if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video